Hi, I'm Sophie Curtis. I'm from Norfolk, and I'm a sophomore. And this is my poem, Grand Staircase. I've dug myself into a hole, and I will drag myself out of it. Each time I feel low episode coming, I slowly mine deeper into the earth's crust. Eventually, I'll hit the core. I refuse to accept help. It's my independence that keeps me where I am. My independence is both a blessing and a curse. I will struggle on my own. My laugh echoes in open rooms so my friends know that they can count on me, so I won't have to count on them. They have it worse. They're going through more than I am. I will never be struggling enough. I will never be hurting enough. I attempt to escape the hole in hopes of a breath of fresh air, only to be dragged back down. I scream and claw at the dirt, but no one hears the battle in my head, a battle between the two worst emotions in me, fighting good days and bad days like an angel and devil on my shoulder. Their arguing sends me into a panic. I cannot think, I cannot breathe, I cannot speak. I cannot be the beauty and the brains they all want me to be. I'll always be staring at others' success and comparing myself. Everything is so close, yet so terrifyingly far. It's falling down the fourth step of a 10-step staircase. It's scary, but not as bad as if you were falling from the top. My class placement would send any AP student into a coma. I'll forever be glued to the bottom rank like a Lego covered in crackle super glue. I am a walking bare minimum. My older sister was never cursed to wear the heavy golden child crown. Though it hurts my entire soul, I will always carry the weight, never allowing my younger sister to receive a gilded hand-me-down if I fail to hold it. I'll never be good enough for myself. I'll never fail to push myself for every single test in algebra, study for hours upon hours just to see a 72 passing but not an A. I've gone in and out of this hole so many times. I have carved a grand staircase from these granite walls. These stairs are yet another gilded artifact, so run down. Cracks in each step, I'll never know if one day I'll hit the core. But I'll climb up again, and again, and again, and... Three minutes of silence alone, and I can suddenly breathe again. Three minutes on this stage, and I know that I'm simply a speck of dirt in a gigantic, beautiful universe. The animals still hibernate in the winter. Neighborhood squirrels so fat they don't know what to do with themselves. Vines still grow up the walls of the three-story house that I drive past on my way to school. Everything is the way it needs to be. Both this world and I will forever continue to be a beautiful mess. <laughs>